We're back with TourLink TV. It's uh, Michael Beck, and I'm here with Dennis Sheehan, who is the tour manager of U2. Uh, very That's nice it. to see you. How do you do? Um, you are known as a, as a tour manager for for U2, but it just goes back so so much farther than that. Oh, it does. Yeah. Tell well, us a little bit about the journey. Um, well, I uh, I played in a in a school band, a band that was formed at my senior school when I was a. Uh, I grew up in Ireland, but mm -hmm. I did my senior schooling in England. Um, I started playing with the band uh, when I was about 13 years old until I was 19, mm -hmm. and uh, at 19, uh, about 19 and a half, I took my first job on the other side of the business. Right. I worked as a sort of what w would have been then the the tour manager of them, which was very basic. Uh, you did sound and you uh, got people from A to B. I worked with a soul band in London called Jimmy James and the Vagabonds. We traveled throughout England and uh, the um, near Europe, uh, France, Belgium, Holland. Um, I stayed with them for 15 months. Uh, I then came to America with a Scottish band called Cartoon. Cartoon were managed by uh, two guys, one called Peter Grant and the oh other yeah. called Mark London. Wow. Um, that progressed into a band called Stone the Crows featuring Maggie Bell. I worked with them for uh, about four years and into Maggie's solo career. Uh, and then I started embarking on a work for uh, an English promoter. Did a lot of uh, promoter's rep work. You mm -hmm. go in, you open the building, uh, you get it ready for the acts that are coming in, uh, you pay all the bills and you settle at the end of the right. night. Yeah. Uh, um, I, uh, I did a bit of work for them, uh, but within a year I had gone back to work for, uh, for Peter Grant, um, that would be in uh, 75 with right. Led Zeppelin. Right, sure. And I was just an assistant to the tour manager. Um, uh, we ran, got the stuff for the band members and Peter Grant and Richard Cole was my boss, who was the tour manager. Right. And I worked through with them until uh, the Nebworth dates in England in 1979. Yeah. And in between the off-tour times, I also worked again with uh, a promoter in London mm -hmm. doing reps. Right. Um, I did a lot of the, about 50 or 60 percent of the punk acts oh, wow. in England, which was That's great learning curve. Right, sure, I'll bet. Um, and uh, worked for Arista Records for uh, out of London in the European department for uh, uh, Paddy Smith Group, mm -hmm. uh, Iggy Pop, um, and a couple of others that mm -hmm. they had brought in to elevate the Arista Records, which was like a fairly soft company, musically soft. Mm -hmm. um, and then in uh, 82, I had my first meeting with um, the beginning of the year with Paul McGuinness. Uh, you two were looking for a tour manager. Um, they were into they had had two albums out. They were about to bring out the War album, right? Um, and uh, we haven't looked back ever since. <laughs> Not much need to. Yeah. Now I've done a couple of favors for different people. I've worked with uh, the Irish band Clannad, um, whose music is used for film more than anything right. else. Right. A very interesting band. A very gifted band. Um, um, uh, but that's about it. But it has mm. been, you know, predominantly and just you two. Yeah, but that keeps you busy year round, even on the it down does, yes. years. Yeah, of course. We are, you know, our tours are our world. Our tours are world tours, so they're yeah. usually from the inception, the working, uh, the work that I have to do anyway of of tour managing, of getting the tour ready, talking to the band, where we're going to base ourselves. Um, down to the uh, the election of hotels, planes, etc. Um, and staff uh, usually it takes about uh, two to two and a half years. The last tour, the 360 tour, took a little bit longer because Bono got, uh, had a problem with his back uh, for about uh, three months. Uh, so that extended. We postponed right. the second American leg and did it at the end of the tour and, and also extended it. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, so that took a over a three-year period. We finished uh, in July 2010, right. the end of July. Right. So right. we were more or less wrapped um, on my department anyway, wrapped by about uh, September 2010. Uh, the band took a well-earned break, as did everybody, and. Uh,